Well, hello, and thank you for joining us again for another Experts Explained video. Uh, today, we have JB Glossinger with us. Hi. Hey, how are you doing today, Brittany? I am well. I am well, JB. Tell, start by telling us a little bit about yourself and your, uh, <laughs> well, your ventures. You might hear my dog uh, snoring in the background a little bit. I got a big lab. He's over here. So if you hear That's that. That's my favorite. <laughs> yeah, it is what we're doing. No, I'm, I've, I've been... Um, in the in the podcasting world, uh, one of the original podcasters back in 2005 and had a top 25 podcast and um, have done 4,600, almost 4,700 episodes. So uh, it's been a crazy, crazy ride. I'm known as a morning coach and and just been podcasting and putting content out there. I speak and do those type of things. So uh, author wrote, I've written a, a few books, four books, uh, a few with Hay House, which has been pretty cool. That's great. I, I really like uh, your Monday motivation uh, and, and the excitement in which you say good morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've done it 4,600 times. So it's like, it's just kind of a natural thing and I'm not doing it again. I'm not, I'm not, it's just crazy. <laughs> I love it. I'm well, tired I of it. I don't want to hear it anymore. <laughs> we'll put links in the, in the, in the video <laughs> description for people to find you. Um, but uh, why we're here today is to share uh, something about Evernote that you want to share with the audience. So um, it can be really anything, whatever you're passionate about, something that, you know, you well, think everybody needs to know. Yeah, I think it's cool. Well, I can share my screen real quick. Um, I think the thing that, that you know, I love about Evernote right now is the new homepage. I think, you know, as a productivity teacher, somebody does a lot of productivity is that, uh, they've really changed the way you can do things and the flexibility of the homepage is really, really important. Um, you know, I've even got up here some goals that I put, look, no drinking, you know what I mean? <laughs> Can't yeah. drinking, done some personal stuff as a, just a little scratch pad here, increasing revenue by a couple grand, uh, this week. Um, some of the things I want to do, you know, is some fun stuff, like don't lose focus and breathe and slow down. These are, these are things that are important to me. Uh, not only my tasks as I, you know, all the, everything here is in a snapshot, which was never a part of old Evernote. Like I left Evernote, like Evernote wasn't something that excited me. Until this kind of happened and it really excited me. You can see our, you know, I had an interview uh, right before this one and then had another interview so I can see my calendar, what's going on. Uh, I pin notes up here, um, which is something I do every day just to kind of have this process in place where I, you know, have this proper perspective and set daily priorities. This is some, you know, the stuff that's really important to me uh, is, is here right on my homepage and I can just go into it and find everything that I need. Uh, I'm not going to scroll down there because I have my addresses and other stuff, but I've got like, I'm going through a major move right now. So I've got three places that I'm moving stuff from and to and fro. So I have a pin note down there with the addresses because I don't even know my address right now. So <laughs> That way I can copy and paste it. And I can't tell you how many times I'm using Evernote to go get my address. So this homepage, as you can see, you know, we all know Evernote is such a great, does a, such a great job with notes. But now this is actually making it a real productivity space by giving you the flexibility to put the things in that you need to do and reoccurring tasks. So if we didn't have reoccurring tasks, I was going to be really disappointed. But now with reoccurring tasks, as you can see, even mine here, you can see I've got, you know, do the motivational Monday YouTube coach cast, Monday and Tuesday coach cast, check out move dates, make sure they're okay, Wednesday and Thursday. And if you look at the little symbol here that I know which ones are reoccurring or which ones aren't, and you can see those are things that I'm consistently doing. So I, you can tell I'm pretty excited about it. It really works for me. I just kind of want to share you what I like is my homepage. The other thing that I really like and I'll share with you is I'm writing my book and I don't want to disclose all that either because it's kind of private and, 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 um, but I'm literally building the entire book in Evernote and, and using Evernote to kind of structure the book and the game plan with the book. And it's just working out real well. So as an author, you know, having everything in one place is really cool. I can bring media in web clips and everything and organize the whole book flow and writing the book. So those are a couple of things. I hope that's not just like just crashing down on you with a bunch of stuff, but you can tell there's a lot of things that I'm using here that I really, really appreciate. Yeah, I, uh, this is, this is fabulous. I think it's really interesting to see how you have made this home screen uh, almost like an inspiration board or a mood board. Like you have your inspirational, uh, aspirational kind of quotes as your background and your pen note is something that's less, 
you know, reference material and more inspirational material. Yeah. And, yeah. And when I'm dealing with my own really demons. Yeah. And so like one yeah. of my things is I'm just trying to go alcohol free because I, you know, at 53, I don't recover as good as I used to. And believe me, I used to have fun, but it's like, okay, let's slow down. And that little yeah. note helps me, you know, it's like, okay, just let's focus on that. Let's focus on that. And maybe a little revenue goal and things that are important I use there. And then I got the, you know, the stuff there in my task and my calendar, and it's just really quick. And I, I think I, I want to reiterate, I've got that pin note for very important things like addresses and stuff. I, 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 that, I'm using that all the time. Like that's, mm -hmm. I'm in there. It's and you're like, changing okay, out, you're changing yeah. out the pin notes. Yes. And, and really cool. utilizing, but it's like the most important stuff. So I've got the one for the home and then I have other stuff and I'm moving right now. So this is like, I've got moving pieces from Florida, Indiana, and Evernote is just really allowing me to keep things organized. For example, I'm selling one house and buying one house. So right now in Evernote, I have all the appraisals and all the stuff that I've got going on in, you know, for one house. And then basically I got homes and then I put the address and the address and I'm just keeping everything in there. So, I mean, the, it's, the uses are endless, right? Yeah, that's, this is fabulous. And, you know, I think a lot of people uh, that used to be Evernote users a long time ago are sort of in this similar feeling of like, well, Evernote just kind of stopped getting cool. And now it's kind of getting cool again. And we're pulling back in older users and, and getting people interested in the product again, because it does feel like it's modernized. It's useful. It's meeting the needs of the current digital productivity, uh, you know, individual. Yeah, I think that's a big, big point because when I was looking at tools and you know looking at, at at Notion and some of these other other tools that were out there, it's like what could I pull everything together? Evernote was an afterthought because it just wasn't the tool that I wanted, and I'd used it ten years ago. I mean, it's been around for a long time, and it was like, wow, this you know I I liked it, but it really didn't have the organization of the tags and and really the structure that it has for searching and things that it had in the past, and so that experience push me away from it. But then as I, all the new stuff's going, you know, and especially the improvements you guys keep making, it really, really said, okay, wow, let's take a look at this thing. And it's not, it's not your, your parents ever know. <laughs> I, I love that. <laughs> it's, it's not, no. Um, well, I'm so glad to have you back and not just as a user, but now as also an Evernote certified expert. So, um, thank you so much for sharing your favorite things, what you're really into with Evernote right now. Uh, I am going to like go change my home background right now to something inspirational. I love that idea. Thank you yeah, use that space. I mean, we can't look, we need positive stuff in the world. Never know. It gives you a blank place to put that. And I got focus and breathe. Those two things are really important to me. <laughs> exactly. I love it. I love it. Well, thank you so much for joining us. I really appreciate your time. No problem. Love being here. Thank you. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please like and subscribe to the channel.